Hey everybody! Sorry there hasn't been a video in a long time. I, uh, yeah, completely missed out on January. Been working on a lot of stuff at school. The one act was going on, and now we're done with it. And that kind of took up my entire month. Haven't really been able to get a chance on the video, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to look at all the movies on my movie shelf because you know, somebody asked, and I, well, one person asked, and I kind of just, I don't know, I thought it'd be kind of fun. Just something to. If anybody was interested in what's behind me when I'm doing my videos and what movies I like and what movies I have and why I have certain movies. Because a lot of these movies are not even that good, but I just have from when I was younger. And um, yeah, let's just let's look at the movies if you guys are interested in this. I don't know. I kind of like these kind of videos. So uh, here we go. Let's start out. There's uh, 12 Angry Men. That's a pretty good movie. 50-50. 51st Dates, it's one of my probably favorite Adam Sandler movies besides Wedding Singer. Um, there's the A-Team. There's this uh, weird, one of these dollar DVDs you can get. A Bot and Costello. I don't know why I have that. It's just, I've never even watched it, but I just have this dollar video of it. Anchorman, really love that movie. Apollo 13, are we there yet? Don't know why I have that movie. I'm probably going to review this eventually because this movie's just... Why is there an airplane in the car? I don't even think an airplane's at all in the movie, but yeah. Batman, you know, the original 1989 Batman. Batman Dark Knight Returns Part 2. I, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have the first part, so I haven't watched that yet, because I want to watch Part 1 first. Uh, the Benchwarmers, it's kind of stupid, but yeah, I laugh at it. Uh, Big, Tom Hanks, really good movie. Big Daddy. Another Adam Sandler movie that I kind of like. Uh, Blazing Saddles, funny. Born Ultimatum, Captain America. This is, uh, besides Iron Man, this is probably my favorite um, of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, all the Avengers movies. Casino Royale, Cat in the Hat. Yeah, yeah. You all know what I think of that movie. Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I, I kind of like that movie. A lot of people complain about it. Don't think that Johnny Depp does a good job at I actually really like the movie. Uh, Daddy Daycare, you... I don't know what I think of that movie, too. I don't know why I have these movies. Uh, Day After Tomorrow, probably my favorite Roland Emmerich movie, because, you know, a lot of people complain about his movies, but I like Day After Tomorrow. I probably watch that yearly. I'd probably watch this a lot. Day of the Earth... Uh, Day of the Earth Stood Still. Can't talk right now. <laughs> um, it's probably one of the better sci-fi movies ever made. Die Hard, Die Hard with Vengeance, Live Free and Die Hard, all Die Hard movies are just all pretty good. I haven't seen the fifth one. People have been saying it's pretty bad. I guess I should check it out. Dodgeball, pretty funny movie. Due Date, I think this movie's actually pretty funny. It's a lot like Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, but I like it. Eternal Sunshine of the, uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Man, I can't talk right now. Fanboys, this is a pretty funny uh, Star Wars movie. You know, like, a, it's about the fans of Star Wars. And I think only the fans of Star Wars would like it, because, I don't know, there's a lot of jokes that just kind of hard to, like, understand if you don't know Star Wars. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, really good movie. Flight of the Navigator, really underrated movie. And Fred Claus, I actually kind of like this movie. It's a... I haven't watched it. I didn't watch it this Christmas, but I've watched it before. It's a pretty good Christmas movie. Garfield, Tale of Two Kittens. See, this is just... That's just one of those movies. I don't know why I have it. George of the Jungle 2, I... Eh. Get Smart, this is a pretty funny movie, actually. I actually like that movie a lot. G.I. Joe, I think I've watched this once. <laughs> I just got it for Christmas one year, and I don't know. Ghostbusters, one of my favorite movies ever. Goodfellas, really good movie. Um, Happiness is a Warm Blanket. Yeah, this is a, the newest Charlie Brown movie they made, and I haven't watched it yet. i got to get to that. Hot Rod, my favorite movie of all time. You should all know that. Hugo, another favorite movie of mine. Ooh, I Am Legend. I've watched this, I think. I've only seen this once, I think, but... Ah, full screen. Yeah, there's a couple of these that are full screen, and I just... Ugh, hate full screen. My I Am Legend is pretty good. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I kind of... I like that one, all right. I'm, I don't have anything to complain about. 
The Incredible Hulk. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really remember this movie much. Inglorious uh, B words. <laughs> this is a really good movie. Iron Man. Iron Man 2, the kind of not as good sequel, but I think the third one's better. I still gotta buy that one. Ooh, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. This is a funny movie. I really like that movie. Life of Pi, I haven't watched it yet, but I, I mean, I haven't opened this copy. I've seen the movie, though. It's really good. All the Lord of the Rings movies, I, uh, one of them is, is in full screen, which kind of sucks. That's my favorite one, too, is Return, Return of the King. That's my favorite. Lord of the Rings movie, and it's in full screen. I hate full screen so much. <laughs> Men in Black 2, I don't really like that one, even. Um, Meteor Man. <laughs> I got this as a kid. I I liked it, though, right? I haven't seen it in a while. I have to watch it again. Maybe I'll review it sometime. Miracle, one of my favorite sports movies. Mr. Deeds, another, another alright Adam Sandler movie. Moneyball, this is a really good sports movie, too. Monster Squad, yeah. This movie was alright. This was just... It's pretty much Ghostbusters, except with monsters. National Treasure, National Treasure 2, I kind of enjoy those movies. Even though they are kind of stupid. Neverending Story, really good fantasy film. Night at the Museum, Night at the Museum 2, yeah, those, those are alright. Uh... One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, one of my favorite movies. Perks of Being a Wallflower, this is a really good coming-of-age story. This is a really good movie. And, of course, Pineapple Express, one of my favorite comedies ever. This is a really, it's a really funny movie. Up here I have um, Midnight Horror Collection Zombies. This is just one of those crappy... You know, it's got... It's got Night of the Living Dead on it, but then it's got a lot of movies by the Asylum, and just a lot of them really aren't that good. There's one that I, I think it begins with this naked man who falls down from a tree, and I think that's how the movie begins. Another movie has like a 10 minute segment with this workout video. It's just, and they're zombie movies, it just, it just doesn't fit. Uh, the Dracula Legacy Collection, I... Actually, I haven't seen any of those yet. I gotta watch those. I have. I just. I. I saw this at a store uh, for sale. I just thought hey, I better buy it because it's pretty cheap. Uh, these are those crappy 50 movie packs you get. I kind of was. I don't know why I bought them. I just thought maybe there'd be something funny I could find in them. And there's this one movie. I don't know what it was called, but the movie starts out with a bunch of Nazis and they start like shooting each other. And I don't know what the name of the movie was. If someone knows the name of the movie, please tell me, because that was the funniest opening to a movie I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, Dark Knight Rises on Blu-ray. Uh, you can Ooh. really like that movie. Back to the Future, the whole trilogy. Back to the Future Part 1, you know, the first one is my favorite of all of them. It's one of my favorite movies ever. Star Wars. The only one I really hate is the second one. I don't even have a problem with the first one. The second one, they just is really boring. But my favorite one in all these is the fifth. One of my favorite movies ever. Uh, Friends, the best of season four. I, I don't know why I have that. It's just we bought it when we were younger. Even though we ended up getting all the seasons. These aren't mine, by the way. These are my sisters. and It's like, yeah, we have season four. We have all the seasons. And yet we have the best of season four. I don't know why. Then there's this other one called The One With All The Parties, which is just, I don't know, it's some of the better episodes. Um, I think... Oh yeah, Elf's in here. Elf! It's pretty good. It's a pretty funny Christmas movie. Ooh, and what's in here? Ooh, look! A bootleg copy of Django Unchained! I have yet to buy that on DVD. I don't know why I have a bootleg co co bootleg copy of it, and, and my movie I made, Destiny's Escape. I made a, I just made a DVD of it. I was testing out my DVD making software. Sorry about the shadow too. I, I have, I'm just using natural lighting right now, so it's kind of all. Sorry about that. Pink Panther. I haven't seen this in a while. My dad always quotes that movie. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty stupid. Platoon. 
I have yet to watch that movie. I don't know why I haven't watched it. I just... And Police Academy. I have yet to watch that, too. I Two movies. I just... I hear good things about I haven't seen. Rocky. Really good movie. RV, a pretty stupid movie. Sandlot 2, another stupid movie. See, Santa Claus 2, um, that's pretty good. All the Santa Claus movies are kind of boring, I, I think, but I watch them every year. I don't know. I just kind of tradition. School of Rock. Yeah. Let's see if I can get to this. School of Rock. Yeah. A lot of... It's weird. This doesn't have as good of a user review as a critical review. Like, a lot of users on, like, on Rotten Tomatoes and stuff don't like it, but it's, like, one of my favorite movies. I really love that movie. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. This is a... This is a really good movie. Ooh. Seven. Seven is a really messed up movie. Really twisted, really... If you want to see something twisted, I'd, I'd watch Seven. Series of Unfortunate Events. I will actually say... This is one of the better uh, kids' movies that's been made in the last 10 years. I think it's at least 10 years old anyway. This is a really good movie. Really good book adaptation, actually. This really got the humor and the creepiness of the books. This is actually... I really would recommend this if you like the books. Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2. The third one's not here. My sister's borrowing it, but... All really solid movies. I like them all. Even the third one. A lot of people complain about it. The only complaint I have is maybe the love story because it gets kind of boring. Shawshank Redemption, yeah. One of the best movies ever. Whoop! Yeah, probably put that here. Uh, a four movie pack of all kinds of Stanley Kubrick movies The Shining, 2001, Barry Lyndon, and Eyes Wide Shut. I haven't seen this one. And I haven't seen this one since I was younger. But this movie. This movie was alright. I, I, I didn't like it as much as everyone said it was good. I actually, this movie, Barry Lyndon, really underrated Stanley Kubrick movie. Really good movie. It's really, really underrated. Uh, Clockwork Orange, one of my favorite movies. Full Metal Jacket, one of the best war movies I've seen. This actually completely gets what I like think of. I don't know, just really how inhumane war can get. And really gets good ideas. Stuart Little 2, I haven't seen this in a long time, but... I don't know, I heard some, It's gotten better reviews than the original, so it must be pretty good. Terry. This was a really weird movie. I, I have yet to finish it. But it was, it was enjoyable. It's pretty much about this kid and... Just... I don't know, like... It's pretty much about... His life in high school and his relationship with the principal and just, it's weird. Transformers, I actually kind of like the first one. Second one, on the other hand, is really bad. And I don't know why I have it. The third one's even worse. <laughs> Treasure of the Sierra Madre, really, really enjoyable movie. Tropic Thunder, probably one of the better movies that's about Hollywood. Really good movie. United 93, oh, that, no, everything's fine. United 93, I... I've never finished this, but heard really good things. Vertigo, I just recently saw this, and it was pretty good. Warm Bodies, uh, yeah, this was a movie that was released this year. I kind of liked it. I think that's what Twilight should have been, but, eh, whatever. Wayne's World, Wayne's World 2, both equally good movies. I think they're both pretty solid. I like the first one a little bit more, but the second one's pretty good. I... If I watch the first one, I usually end up popping in the second one right after. Willy Wonka in a Chocolate Factory, really good movie, really good children's film. Without a Paddle, um, really dumb comedy, I don't know why I have that. And here's all my, here, we'll just go through all the, here's X-Men, X2, Last Stand, First Class. Um, X2 is probably the best one of this trilogy. The third one and the first one I both think are kind of equally kind of boring I don't know I not too interested in the first two like the the ending ones the bookmarks but the middle one x2 is really good but the best x-men movie I've seen is first class this was really this is the first one that I actually thought was really good I really remembered I really I'm actually really excited for the next x-men movie because it brings them all together and I'm excited for it I hope they really pull it off yes man this is a lot like liar liar because in Liar Liar, he can't lie. And in Yes Man, he can't say no. And, oh. I almost falling here. Uh, yes Man is really, um, 
I really like Yes Man. It's, I actually like it better than Liar Liar. I know I'm a minority there, but that's what I think. Ooh, Zombie Land. Really, really good zombie um, spoof or parody. Takes the zombie genre seriously, but it's also kind of a funny movie, so really good movie. I hope they make a sequel. I was hoping they would. And, um, I have my animated movies down here. Actually, I have the Scene It game. <laughs> This is just dumb game pack I got. Uh, NASCAR, a family tradition. I, I don't even know. This is made back in the early days of DVD, and I don't know, my mom bought it, and I don't know, I think it has to do with the Dale Earnhardt family and everything. Shout about TV. Uh, we played it once, it was really good, but then we found out all the questions are the same, so now we know every answer, and yeah. Uh, this is for the show Liberty's Kids, or just two episodes you can get. I, the show was actually pretty good. It's just, it's pretty much a history show, but done in cartoon form. It's about the Revolutionary War, and it's really enjoyable. Arthur, I have a couple Arthur episode DVDs. Those are, these are this is a really good show. I love Arthur, as you've all probably seen in that video. Um, the Simpsons movie, really funny. I recently saw it again. I saw it like 30 times when it first came out. And then I watched it again recently. It's Still just as funny. Simpsons Treehouse of Horror pack, a really good, really good. I, if you like Treehouse of Horror, I'd recommend getting that. Um, the Warner Brothers Home Entertainment Academy Awards Animation Collection, 15 winners. <sighs> what a mouthful. But <laughs> there's a there's a really funny one on here. It's well, not even really funny, but it's messed up. It's this like short documentary, an animated documentary. Something about babies and growing up and how if they got stung by a mosquito when they were younger It'll mess them up when they're older and it's all informative and if you've ever seen a parody of 50s informative like television That's exactly what this movie is But it's like the serious version of it and it won an Academy Award But there's a comedy like a commentary for it by a historical He looks at history of films and he pretty much like talks about how that how that documentary has no significance anymore, even though it won best short or whatever. So yeah, it's it's pretty funny. It won an Oscar, but he says it pretty much shouldn't have. Well, I mean, not shouldn't have, but it's pretty much they got everything wrong. <laughs> uh, Amblin, the Amblin Entertainment and Steven Spielberg films, and yeah, you get American Tale, Land Before Time, Balto. Honestly, I haven't watched any of those. I do need to get to those. Shrek 2, I don't have the first Shrek, but I have the second one. I have it on DVD anyway. I have Shrek on um, VHS somewhere. Over the Hedge, B-Movie, Madagascar, Escape to Africa, Monsters vs. Aliens, um, they're all pretty, uh, they're okay, DreamWorks movies. I'm not as big of a fan of, just, of DreamWorks as I am of Pixar and Disney. Rugrats movie, Rugrats in Paris, both pretty good movies. Wild Thornberry's movie, that's a... I actually kind of like that movie. Ben-Hur, the Good Times version. <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the Good Times sequel. Yeah, look at all these Good Times movies. Yeah. Urgh. Open Season, that's pretty stupid. But Surf's Up, this is a really underrated movie. As in, not a lot of people watch it anymore. It doesn't really get recognition anymore. But it's really a really good movie. Monster House, here's another really good movie that just, it just, nobody watches it, it's just, but it's really good. Finding Nemo, you know, Up, you know, the Pixar movies, of course. Of course, everyone talks about those. Lilo and Stitch, really good animated Disney film. Polar Express, kind of creepy animation because of that, um... What's that animation tech? The thing that Robert, the thing that Robert Zemeckis was doing. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. <sighs> That's what kind of animation they use anymore. Anyway, um, Happy Feet. Yeah, this is all right. I don't think any animated film from 2006 was that great, especially Cars, which I actually have, and I don't even really like that one that much. But yep, here it is. Here's The Nightmare Before Christmas on Blu-ray. These are my Blu-rays of animated films, by the way. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, Toy Story. Toy Story 2. Toy Story 3. A Bug's Life. Monsters, Inc. Monsters University. The Incredibles. Cars. Wally. -E. All kinds of Pixar films. I know I don't have them all. I got a couple more to get, like Ratatouille. 
uh, Brave, um, Cars 2, I still have a couple to get, because I'm trying to get them all, I'm trying to get all the Disney films on Blu-ray, uh, Snow White, Fantasia, Fantasia 2000, Dumbo, Bambi, Alice in Wonderland, Lady, D Lady and the Tramp, Fox and the Hound, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, and Winnie the Pooh, really, really good movie, it competed against the against Harry Potter its opening weekend terrible idea failed Disney saw that as a bad thing but no this movie is really enjoyable it's just really short but it's a really good movie and yeah all these movies are pretty good I actually Dumbo and Bambi especially I actually really like those two and of course The Lion King and Little Mermaid's pretty good uh, over here we have the Fast and Furious films I have yet to watch those just bought them during Christmas. All the Harry Potter movies, except for the last one. I think I have that on Blu-ray somewhere. Die Hard Trilogy. This is actually the VHS version. Like, Oh, yeah, there's also Burn After Reading. I'm borrowing this from a friend right now. I just have the disc. <laughs> yeah, this is the Die Hard movies on VHS. And I just have them sitting up there with my... DVDs just because it's a pretty nice box. I actually kind of like this really cool box that they made for it. Alright, Our Gang, the VHS collection. It's just a bunch of old shorts that they did. My dad loves this whole collection. Casablanca, this humongous, I'm not going to open it, but it's this humongous DVD pack for the movie. Really good movie. One of the like best classics of American film. It's really, really amazing. Here's a lithograph. Or not a lith No, these these things right here are lithographs. This thing right here is just a film cell from Monty Python and the Holy Grail because I have the Monty Python and the Holy Grail uh, collector's edition. I think this this is a really good movie. If you open it, it's got it's got the film script inside. The only complaint I have is that these DVDs are really hard to get out. You can actually see I tried like stabbing the plastic just to get the DVD out. It's really hard to get out, but really, it's a really fun pack. It come, came with this, you know, this film cell. It came with a script, all this cool stuff.